What's going on everyone? It's Jeremy again with JMET's Brick Clicks. Today, we're going to look at this Batmobile, but more importantly, we're going to compare it to the other Batmobiles because I haven't seen a lot of those videos. I'm sure you've seen other people do the review on this individually. So, we're not going to spend much time on it. 392 pieces, came out November 1st, 2021. You get the Joker, oh, there it is, and Batman. You can see Batman down here. Let's pop this off. You can see the cape. You get an extra headpiece for the Bruce, Bruce Wayne um, character. Here's our penguin. He's got a new stud shooter. Interesting new design. And an actual gun design. I don't know if I've seen either one of those pieces before in sets. And there's your interior. You got some stickers in there. Now, I fired one off accidentally. That's what that is. So if we fire that and move that back, you can see we've got dual these, I don't even know, super size stud shooters. <laughs> I'm not sure. Super size shooters. They're not studs. And these bars. I don't know what they're called. But they're spring loaded. And they are hard to put on one handed. But you'll notice that goes back up when they're locked into place. And you just push on that right there and it fires them. I don't like those. I think they should have just done circles. I think that would have looked better. Yeah. I'm not sure what the deal was there. You do get some stickers. Sticker, sticker. Sticker on the hood. There's our back view. I ended up getting two of those printed disc pieces. Those. I got two of those. I guess it was just an error which happens sometimes when you buy a set right on launch day. So that was nice. This turns, you can turn it any way. Nothing moves it. You got those pieces for the motor. It's a nice engine design. I'm not gonna get the Technic set, but I did want this because of my Batmobile collection. So let's take a look and see what these look like first next to the, not Speed Champion set, but the Ghost Rider Dodge Charger. And then we'll look at the Batmobiles, just so you guys can get an idea for comparison on how, some, how big this is compared to other vehicles. All right, so here is Ghost Rider and his Dodge Charger. And then there's the Batmobile. And what we're going to do is line up the wheelbase. Just stud on stud right there. There's the comparison on how much bigger this is. Or just like that. So we've got basically that much more room. So basically four studs longer. Look at the front. Six wide plus the tires. Eight wide plus the tires and fenders. So, yeah, looking at it like that, you can tell it's just a much bigger vehicle. That's one of the best comparison views right there. All right, now on to the other Batmobiles to compare those. All right, so here's what I've probably been waiting for. This is probably what you were waiting for to see. The last four Batmobile designs that have come out, six wide or eight wide, or the tumbler, kind of in its class by its own. Let's look at some of the size differences between our new Batmobile and some of the others. So this one came out back in the summer. Classic 1960s Batmobile. Let's line up the front ends. Okay. Oh, so they're pretty close in size. Not too bad. They're actually really close. I'm kind of surprised by that. Now, let's go to our Michael Keaton. 
We'll take this off just because I knocked it off. <laughs> and we'll put that stud shooter back, or that, I keep calling it a stud shooter, just the shooter blaster, whatever. And that's pretty level. Okay. And looks like this Batmobile is actually longer. How much longer? Ooh, a lot longer. I would say one, two, three, four, maybe six, five or six studs longer. Okay. There's a better comparison there. Angle. From a wideness standpoint, they're both eight wide. Let's move him up so you can get that view. I forgot to do that with the other one, didn't I? They're both eight wide as well. So they, com they compare fairly well. Okay. Now, gotta zoom in here to put this back on. Sorry, guys. Okay. And the Tumbler. Most interesting Batmobile. My favorite, personally. So here is our front comparison. So. This is, I mean, I don't even know, 10, 12 wide. Oh, who knows, two, four, six, at least 12 wide. Let's do an overhead view here. So the tumbler's a little shorter, not by much. Way wider. Height level, they're actually about the same. Pretty close, very close, other than these little pieces right here in the back. Um, sideways. Yeah. So that's our comparison of the last four, pretty much all two scale, minifig scale Batmobiles. Tell me what you think, guys. What do you, what do you think? Which one's your favorite? I don't know what you think. The Tumblr's my favorite by far. Probably followed by the original Batmobile. So I, as a kid, watched that on reruns back in the early 90s. Um, don't know what to think about this new Batman movie. I'm not a fan of the lead actor. But maybe he'll surprise me. I don't know. And the Michael Keaton Batmobile. I'm Batman. It's a good Batmobile. I think it's a very street, very, you're stuck on the street. There's not a lot of off-roading. I mean, even the old Batmobile had a little bit more off-roading skills. The Tumblr, again, a class by its own. But this one sets up higher. You were really limited to just straight street driving. There wasn't any jumping or barricading or going through stuff. Everything had to be level ground with this Batmobile. So that's one reason. And... It holds true even with the set because there's no suspension on it. Oh, and I did take the little thing off the back, the little fire thing, so I don't know where it is. I thought oh, I put it in the campfire set just so I could have a bonfire for a, for a campground scene that I built. Anyway, I'm rambling. You guys have seen what you wanted to see. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you guys. If you don't have all four of them, or if you have the other Batmobile similar to this that came with the 1989 collector UCS collector's edition set. Um, it's pretty similar in size to this for the most part. Those are the four. Pretty cool. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.